what we're going to do in here is we're basically uh, going to be building this wireframe with the code that I've got here in CodePen. Okay, so this one here, the address for this particular uh, example or web page, is this here. If you can see that up there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you this link via Skype, so you can actually see it clearer. So I'm putting this in Skype. Uh, and I call this main layout, so you know what, what it is. So if you see that on your Skype, that's what that is. Alright, so this one here, we're basically going to be using this basic layout to reconstruct what we have in the wireframe inside brackets. So, let's fire up brackets. All right. The one important thing when you fire up brackets, just like you do in Dreamweaver, is you have to um, be able to define the sign, otherwise tell the, the actual software where it's sitting on your web page. So what I'm going to do now is basically, first of all, close all. So I'm closing anything that's actually open it. I'm going to go File, New Folder, Open Folder. So Open Folder basically defines the, the site root of the website. I don't have anything set up here, and in your case you probably don't either, so I'm going to go New Folder. This works both on Mac and Windows. I'm going to call this Web uh, Website Root Folder, just so you know. I'm simply going to save in this on the desktop, same thing as Windows. Okay, I've opened that up. There's obviously nothing there. What I'm going to do, first of all, is create the uh, HTML page, which is the index. So you've called it home page. You should really call it index, okay? Uh, just for technicalities. So save as. Where's that screen gone? Okay, so I'm going to go file new. That's all ready to go. So in this one here, I'm going to make this one, uh, just so you know, and i got something on the screen, just very quickly make a HTML thing there so you know what the page looks like. So I know this is silly, but this is a very simple HTML page. Save as. And in that, I'm going to call that index. Dot, you, you already know this anyway. Dot HTML. Done. Okay, so that's the first part. Now I'm going to make a new page. And this page is a CSS, and it's it's not as that hard. It's the same as um, you'll find... Uh, this is the CSS page. Now normally you don't put that in there, but I'm just putting it for now. I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save this inside the site root. I'm going to call this one styles.css. And I'm saving it inside the same folder next to the HTML file, which I misspelled there. I might fix that spelling. Got to rename. It should be HTML. Okay. All right. So here, if I go to this little button here, I can actually click on it. Can you move that um, phone away from the speaker? It's really echoing my ear. Sorry. That's better. Thanks. Alright, so if I clicked on that, you notice I actually went to split screen. Why I did that is because this will allow me to see my HTML and my CSS side by side. So if I clicked here, I've got my index here. I've got nothing on this side. So I'm going to click inside that and click on CSS. So now I've got CSS on one side, HTML on the other. Any questions? Alright, these two files are going to work side by side and are basically going to be where we place the content of this screen onto here and the content that's going to here. Now before we go much further, we have to be able to link to these, yeah? So to link to this, we basically have to use uh, an actual link that will allow us to link from the index page onto the CSS. So I'm going to going to basically grab some code that I've already got set up here to make life a lot easier for us. I'm just finding it on another screen, in case you're wondering what's going on. Um, where did it go? Just give me two seconds, I'm trying to find it. Uh, 
Here we go. All right, I'm going to place this inside the head. I don't know if you can see this on it. Can you see the cape there? Okay, so as you remember, if not, you've already done this, so you must sort of know it. A HTML page basically has a head. Okay. And see how uh, brackets automatically closes the see the, adds the closing bracket. I'm going to move that down. So inside this head, I'm placing this link called link relative style sheet. I'm going to give you this file, so at least you can actually use it as an example. And in this case here, what did we call the file? Remember this one here? Style CSS. Style CSS. So this is the link. This is the HTML page which links to the content here of the styling of the CSS, which we haven't added yet. But this is how these two interrelate. Okay? Yeah. Why? Because that is sitting right next to the index file. So we're saying on this page here, I want you to link all your styles to this file here, which is sitting right next to us here in the side route. Make sense? Any questions? Cool. That easy. Okay, body. Yep. Okay. So that is that is the section that we're doing here all right so from here we are now going to uh, start copy pasting the content from here onto here make sense this is too easy all right so what i'm going to do first of all is how about i grab the bit that matters let's have a look at the body i don't really care but if you use want to use this coloring it's up to you i'm going to target body okay so body means that if I go up here, see the body already exists, see that? If I grab this styling here, simply copy, that's all I've done, copy, and then I go back to brackets, and in here, get rid of this stuff, and go paste, I now have some styling for the body. Make sure you're saving here. See, I've clicked in here, hit save, and I click in here, hit save. All right, so, so far, I've got that, and you might think, how do I... How can I see what I'm doing, right? In this right top hand corner, there's a little uh, live preview lightning bolt. If I click on that, this opens up Chrome. Okay. And this will actually show us the page. So in this case here, this is what the page looks like. Now for now, there's basically nothing in there. Okay. Because we haven't really put anything on it. So let's have a look. That's all there. That's saved body okay so um, let's add some content all right so let's for now let's actually um, add these links of these things so let's gonna first of all let's let's actually add the wrapper so I'm gonna go I'm just copying one thing at a time okay and the wrappers there save that and then here I'm gonna add for now basically all this stuff the entire div in one hit. So I've copied this here inside the body. I'm placing this div which has that. Now if I save that, let's have a look at what it looks like. Okay. So obviously this is basically our layout. As you can see, it's uh, doing that. If you don't like dodge blue, let's just go blue. Don't know why that's not working there. Save. If it doesn't work, I just re I just close a window and re-click on that lightning bolt. Okay. Background color. Why is it not working? All right. Never mind. Who cares? Let's push on. All right. So. All right, so we've got that there. Um, we now need to obviously style the rest of this uh, material. So I'm going to simply just add the rest of this. And this is styling for all those items that I've actually put there. So I'm going to do that in brackets, of course. Under the next part in the CSS, saving it. Let's see what it does now. I'll just make a new one. Okay. 
So, let's have a look. Style, CSS. Okay, this is why it's not working. I call this file styles with an S. And here I just call it a style. So if I actually add the S here, this all makes sense now. There we go. See that? And instead of that ugly blue, I'm going to go Dodger blue. What's it? Dodger blue? Dod yeah, Dodger blue. Yay, look. It's working. I'm glad I made that mistake because that, that can also explain if you ever have a problem with it. Now obviously this heading is misbehaving, so here what I'm going to do is, that's heading 1. 1. 1.4 is the size, I might just say I want to make it 1. Save. And that's made the heading a lot smaller. See that? And instead of centered heading, I'm going to change the wording of that. From centered heading to just heading. Uh, actually, what's what's the wireframe? What is the wireframe? Damn, I'll close the wireframe. Uh, let's have a look what the wireframe looks like. I'm just opening up the brief. Oh, a cove. That's what the heading is. That's simple. So instead of heading, I'm going to change the heading here to a cove. If I could spell today, it'd be good. Save. So when I go back to the Chrome, which is a browser, which previews it. If I can't find it, I'll just do another preview. Like that? So see how that's actually looking? Hang on. Can you not make that noise? Sorry, it's really loud. Um, Alright, thanks. Alright, see that layout? Doesn't that look the same? Obviously, you've got a logo there. You can get rid of that. That's up to you. So, actually, what we'll do, instead of putting the logo, let's put the heading up there, right? So let's swap this. Let's put this up here. Copy. Uh, let's get rid of this image. I'm going to paste the heading up there. How's that? It doesn't look updating, so I'll have to do another preview. See that? So the heading can be up here. And what we need to put here is a menu. And lo and behold, if, you, if we go back to the code pen, where have I put it down here? Sorry. code pen there's an actual if you go back to my section here and I'll give you the uh, link on Skype in a minute is I've actually got here a whole section on a menu and the link for that is this oh, go away. is this and I copy paste this onto your Skype oh, where are you Skype There's your link there. Okay, and this is this is the menu code, right? Just so you know what that means later. And if we just simply grab, see here here, you have to understand the bit that we're after is called nav, yeah? Nav is the navigation, which is basically all this. All that, so I'm going to copy that, just copy that section. And open this up in um, head. Yes. Well, here because I've got nothing else in the page. Good question. I call this a wrapper, right? Here, the the wrapper's already here. See that? So I'm going to put this. If you look at the layout of the wireframe, or look at the layout of the page, which I closed again. I don't know why. Let me just quickly open up the page. It, I want to put the menu here in the red section. Okay, so so what's the red section? Well, simple. Have a look at what I, what have I given a red background on? Red, red BG. So red BG is being given to section here. Here we go, class red BG, red background. So see where I got that heading. I'm gonna I'm gonna paste what I just copied before entirely here. See the nav? So that should go in here. I know I'm being fussy, but I like tapping these guys. So it's easy to read. So I'm just making the code neat, that's all. Alright, so that basically means that bit that I just uh, copy pasted just then is sitting here inside that article called Red. Right, so if I save that and then do a preview, lo and behold, there's a menu. Okay? It's obviously quite big asked. So what we might do is. What's actually happened here? 
what okay we haven't copied the style sorry yeah so see how we've got this we need to actually copy the styles for that navigation see how the navigation's got a, quite a few bits in there so everything under the from line 10 I'm going to copy we'll just nav and everything else in there including active that's when you roll over the button so I'm going to copy that of that and paste that just below everything in the existing brackets of the CSS styles page yeah so if I save that and then do another preview hopefully those buttons will behave okay while well, they're massive let's have a look what happened there um, actually rather than this one sorry this is probably just too complicated I'm just trying to give you something that's quick uh, let's just see what we've got so far why are they so big um, because font size 3M that's ridiculous sorry this is my bad let's make these ones 1EM so I've changed line 5 to 1EM because for that example that worked but now that we're bringing together our web page they were way oversized that's better see that so it's a bit smaller so now if I bring these guys back in here I'm just I'm just basically redoing I'm pasting what I said I would at the start of that conversation see, now it works see that I had made the text too big so all I need to do here to make things work is go to the heading one remember heading one and that size just to make the heading say three because that worked quite nicely before let's close all this save if you don't save it you can't see the preview so always save done does that making sense so see how we're building what the wireframe has asked us to do all right and then you think oh how do i add a banner how do i add this how do i add that now if you can copy paste you can pretty much find everything in my ob1 and if you go to uh, popular okay I've got a menu I've got these things if you go to the next page see there's a banner there already come on next one go away and see this one here this one's called introduction to CSS text formatting this one has got your text layout see that so I use that to finish off the rest of that page down here from the wireframe so it's asking for that here so surely you can actually grab this stuff and put it there and the banner the banner as I just showed you before if we go back here uh, there's one which has a banner it's here see it's got that image in there all right any questions so if you can build that for me and okay, like this and hand that in make sure you've handed into every single assessment then I can pass you any questions nope okay yeah all you got to do is basically um, when you save these is basically um, upload the page so you got your devaluation website and then simply upload each page you've made that's it don't forget to do one for CSS and one for HTML and okay. then, if, and then re don't forget to read the briefs I don't think students read the brief if we go to uh, the brief that's what's that assessment two three let's have a look I think it's assessment three isn't it well so, so yeah, so let's have a look at three right, number three what's three asking for yeah, validation here we go just read that it says four accessibility examples four screenshots okay um, so you're, you're meant to actually hand in cover page table contents introduction so this is what the document you guys have to hand in yeah and then has that four screenshots screenshots if you can show that and write a, sh a short paragraph on each that's it that's nothing more than a sentence or a paragraph yeah you've got enough time to do this today you've only got two things to hand in today if you hand them today then we're good to go yeah, yeah. already I'll leave it to it I'm gonna quit this program recording and then you can actually um, I'll send you the link for it